What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're going to be jumping into the next one on our claws journey. Six leopard encounters you're not meant to see. Listen, I've been on a leopard safari for a week. I've seen them in a while. A leopard is a strong ass animal that you don't even realize like how strong until you see him like climbing up a tree with another animal in their teeth. That's savage. That like, I don't want to encounter a leopard unless it's me stalking him like we were doing on on the safari. We were looking for him when we saw him. They kind of skittered off into the woods. I don't want one looking for me ever. Because that is a damn scary predator, 100%. If you guys enjoy the content as we go along, get over there, show Claws some love on their channel. We've already subbed up. We've already smashed the like button. Let's see some leopard encounters. Let's go. People that live around at leopards, that's some ballsy stuff, too. Because though I've, wa I've watched them. We saw a great many of them on our damn safari. These six horrifying leopard encounters are going to make you jump in pure horror. Number six. While filming in Botswana, South Africa, a BBC film crew got the experience of a lifetime after a horrifying leopard attack. The clip begins with Richard Jones, a cameraman for BBC's Spy in the Wild series, attempting to track a pack of wild dogs. After a long time of scouting, the camera crew eventually spots a pack of dogs antagonizing an enormous and angry male leopard. <laughs> Leopard. Coming this way. Richard senses trouble. The large animal proceeds to climb the trees to avoid the wild dogs, but just as they thought it was over, the leopard looks at the crew and does this. Then it happens. Hey! Go away! Why? The cameraman drops the camera out of fear, but due to Richard's experience and quick thinking, the crew managed to get out of this encounter alive. Num That's damn terrifying to have a leopard ever run at you in full, full speed. Maybe he was trying to get away from the dogs. He saw the truck and he was like, yo, these people will help me out. Doubtful. Sounded kind of angry. Looked damn angry. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. What, so at least one of these got to take place in Sri Lanka. Because we know Yala National Park in Sri Lanka has the most concentrated leopard population. Number five. A group of friends' ski adventure was halted after they came across an unexpected lurker stalking snow them. Snow leopard. Thick... That's even damn more rare. No. Skiing in the snowy mountains, the man recording the video traverses the woods confidently until he catches sight of something terrifying. I gotta look it up. I'm pretty sure snow leopards are super rare. Like, it's hard to see them now. The stalemate between the group and the snow leopard lasts almost a full two minutes until it was finally interrupted when the leopard does something unexpected. <sighs> After a threatening charge, the predator retreats back into the woods and leaves the group alone to continue skiing in the snow. Number four. This terrifying encounter begins with a group of men recording a full-size adult leopard located only a few feet away. This is kind of terrifying because this is kind of how our safari was set up. Though we had a roof on our camper, we still didn't have walls. Like, we had a... There was a mess net that went up yay high from their truck. I don't want the animal aware of the men recording it proceeds to give them a scare after it suddenly decides to come get a closer look. Luckily, the predator does not give attention to the men and proceeds to walk away from the area completely. Number three. That one was more cool than terrifying. I don't. I don't think I would mind that one happening because it, it kind of happened on our safari, and it seems terrifying while you're inside the damn truck, though, because you realize at a certain point that there's no 
fence between you and that animal like there normally would be in a zoo. And once they start getting close, or we got charged by a damn elephant that was kind of angry, that was horrifying. Like, there's some... When the wild is wild, man, that's all I got like. Tourists in Medikwe Private Game Lodge came across a terrifying sight after they caught an extremely protective mother leopard off guard. The heart racing video picks up with the leopard bluff charging and threatening the tourists, recording it from afar. That leopard got a lot of damn spots. I thought it was a cheetah for a minute. It's not skinny enough to be a cheetah. As they record the animal, despite it being aggressive, they eventually get the scare of a lifetime after it does this. Luckily, after a minute and a half encounter, the predator eventually loses interest in the tourists and proceeds to back off into the bushes. Number two. What was supposed to be just another late night drive home became interesting after a group of friends got the idea of tracking down a leopard going about its own business. The clip starts as we see the friends driving. That's one thing they damn so not gonna let you do on any safari is bug the wildlife. Pester the wildlife. That's how people get killed. Pester in the wildlife. Stop doing stuff to antagonize wild-ass animals. You'll be all right. ...around in a forest when they suddenly spot one of the leopards walking along the road up ahead. They eventually focus on tracking one leopard, and the whole experience is both majestic, yet terrifying at the same time. Thankfully, the leopard does not do anything despite being followed by the group. Regardless, it is still a bone-chilling experience. Number 1. Hey, you're a dumbass if you go hunting a leopard in the dark in his domain. I'm going to say that. Once he snatches you up by the throat and carries you to the top of the tree, he be like, Holly was totally right. A team made to drive a leopard away from a village oh. grew to hundreds when the task proved to be more dangerous than expected. This adrenaline-pumping clip starts off with a group of men attempting to drive away a leopard hiding in the fields with the help of firecrackers. Oh. See? That's a big-ass crowd of people. Obviously, they know that the leper he should go a little bit further into the jungle. We don't want him that close to our house. Who knows? He'd just run by, snatch a kid up, and be gone. Like, nah. I don't. I wouldn't want a leper praying around my property either. The encounter escalates when some of the men chase after the leopard in the jungle, leaving it yeah, no, no choice but to fight back. Despite this, the men continue charging, showing no regard for their safety, but the predator does not back down. Yo, you are crazy at this terrifying. point. Nope. Thankfully, the clip cuts to showing the leopard finally being caught and transported in a cage while hundreds of locals cheer on. Thanks for watching until the end. Check out these other videos that are sure to give you the chills. I'll see you there. Hey, listen, I know that a lot of people in a lot of places, we've definitely encroached on a lot of animals' territory. Like this leopard right here, the leopard at the end. Yeah. There's going to be some people out there that hate that video that say, oh, they shouldn't be mean to the leopard. You wouldn't want it snatching your kid up either. Like, and be, having gone to Sri Lanka and talked to some of these people that live around lepers, that's a legitimate fear that they have. Because those things are sneaky. They're quiet. You wouldn't even realize what happened before you're just like, where the hell is my kid? Like, 
I watched them in the damn jungle, and I wouldn't want to be tracked by one of them, hunted by one of them. I wouldn't want one of them hunting anywhere near my house. I could see chasing them back into the jungle. That's a damn lot of people, though. That's a scary-ass leopard if you're going to turn around on that many people and still, like, try to come at you instead of going deeper into the damn jungle. They do some, They do the th same things with wild elephants. Wild elephants come to eat all of the damn farm crops and stuff. They'll scare them off by throwing a shot in the air or by using firecrackers like that to push them back off into the brush. Scare them away. Definitely a normal thing over in those countries. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely get over and show Claws some love. Most certainly would not want to be encountering any leopards that were actively looking at me instead of me seeing them first. Hell no. Hit the like button if you liked it. The dislike button, but I won't believe you. Check out the other video over here. Until the next one, how the possible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.